All right, so here we have a problem that has a reaction that's given and is already balanced prior to giving it. And then the question says, for trial two, how many grams of silver should be produced? Show your work, which would be converting your limiting reagent to grams of silver. So the student found that there were 0.0427 moles of silver nitrate. And in order to convert, um, and, we were, and we know that this was the limiting reagent, because that's what we found in a step before, but that's what the student found. So in order to convert two grams of silver, the first thing to do is to convert from moles of the compound that we currently have to moles of silver. And the way we can do that is by putting moles of what we have in the denominator and moles of silver on top. So we're going to use a mole to mole ratio using the coefficients in the balanced reaction. So the two from this coefficient will go with two moles of AgNO3. That produces two moles of silver. So using that idea, we have converted from a unit of moles of silver nitrate, because that cancels out, to a unit of moles of silver. And now once we've converted to a unit of moles of silver, the next step would be to convert to grams of silver. So again, we want to put the unit that we want to cancel out in the denominator. So we'll put moles in the denominator. And the unit that we want is grams. And we do know a relationship between grams and moles is the molar mass of silver. So looking at the periodic table, the molar mass of silver is 107.87. So that number goes with the grams and that's one mole. So if we use our calculator to convert this out, I get this to be 0 0.0427 times 2 divided by 2 times 107.87 divided by 1 gives me 4.60604 and that's grams grams of AG. Um, our original number was in three sig figs so we need to round to three sig figs so our final answer would be 4.61 grams of AG. So again this is assuming that this original moles of silver nitrate was in fact the correct moles that was the limiting reagent. And um, yeah, so the steps are to use the molar ratio to go from one compound to another compound, and then to use, once you've got it into the compound that you want, which in this case was silver, then you use the molar mass to convert to grams. So I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please leave me a like and comment if you have any questions. Also share with anyone who you think might find this type of step-by-step -step solution helpful. Thanks.